Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for joining me once more. Today we're playing with some Spellbinders Club Kits. We're going to combine them both and create a project. We have the Stencil of the Month Club Kit for our September, I was going to say October. We're not there yet. <laughs> but for September 2024, it's called Colorful Pumpkins. And look how pretty these are. Just gorgeous. They fill in an entire A2 panel. We'll be using this on our background and then we're going to add an accent. I like the little acorn here with our clear stamp and die of the month club kit. You have this big, big image, this acorn image, and then the greetings. And I'm pretty sure that all the greetings you can die cut out also. And then they included a, a sentiment die, a sentiment strip die. This rectangle here, which is lovely. This is handy for not just this stamp set, for a lot of greetings. So I love that they include this. So we're going to combine them both and create a card. Let's jump in and start by doing some stenciling. This is a five-piece stencil set. And I love all the pumpkins in here. Let's bring in my craft mat and some ink. Since we have five stencils, I'm bringing in five inks. One of those stencils is for the pumpkin stems and then the rest we're going to color with these these four colors for my first color we're going to use dough which is a light brown i'm going to use my blending brush here and let's go ahead and go over these now what i'm going to do is go over lightly and then some areas i'm going to add more color so we have a light and a dark on our gourds here So for the most part, we're one color. Now I'm going to pick up some more ink and I'm going to hit some darker spots. Almost like we're creating a little bit of a shadow. So you can see the light and dark areas. You could do this with oxide inks, any kind of inks that you have, you could do this with. I find it easier to wipe off my stencil while it's on my grit mat. And I did want to mention too that these stencils are indexed with a corner line, a corner marker, so you know where to put them on your A2 panel. We have brown. Let's grab our next pumpkin set. And I'm following along on these. These corners, we'll just line them up. We'll tack this down. My next color, let's go in with Mulberry Blush. Mulberry blushes in the red family. It's like a reddish purple. I'm just going to pick up some of this color and we're going to do the same thing that we did with our first pumpkin set. I would love to know what your guys' favorite blending brushes are. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite blending brushes are. There's so many out there on the market. So far, these are my favorite. These are from Simon Says Stamp, and they're the background blending brushes. But I'd like to know what your favorite blending brushes are. Let me know down below in the comments. I would appreciate it. Let's go ahead and wipe this off. And we will take a look at our final results with the Stencil of the Month Club called Colorful Pumpkins. Isn't that gorgeous? Just beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the front of my card base. We'll just tack this down. So that is the front of my card. Now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. We're going to use our, let's bring in a stamping positioner. Okay, I'm going to stamp the acorn image a couple of times. 
I'm not sure if I'll use both of them or not, but we're going to stamp with espresso ink. It's a dark brown. And then I'm going to flip this around and we're going to stamp it once more on this bottom edge. Okay, and then I'm also going to bring in some dark brown cardstock. Let me just wipe this off. And I'm going to heat emboss my greeting. This is Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to put it towards the middle because I'm going to die cut this out with one of my, my labels. So I'll treat my paper with my anti-static powder. I'm going to go over this with my watermark ink. I'm using my Versamark. And I'm going to bring in white embossing powder and we're just going to emboss this. Wonderful. I'm also going to take a piece of orange cardstock and we're going to stamp from, we're going to, we're going to add the greeting that says to you and yours and I'm going to heat emboss this also. Let's do the same thing with our anti-static powder. We'll give this a dip, a little tap, and I'll heat this too. We're going to die cut these out and these out at the same time, but in the meantime, I'm going to bring in some alcohol markers and we're going to color in these leaves. Once I have my coloring all done, I, I colored the leaves in the same colors basically that we used for our background. Um, and I'm also bringing in a, the nested mini labels die set from Spellbinders. What we're going to do is take the largest. We'll cut a panel out with red. And the next size up, I'm going to cut out this label here. I need to tape this down. My heat embossing kind of warped my paper a little bit. So let's tape this down. Okay, and then we will cut out to you and yours. So I'll run these through my die cut machine and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to layer both of these together. We're just kind of matting them. And we'll just tack them together. I left enough room on the bottom to add this greeting, so I will pop this up and place it right underneath this sentiment. I put a foam square here, but before we add our, our um, acorns, just so it doesn't drown out on my background, I'm gonna add some glue here. You could do this with vellum too, but I think white will be just as nice. Since I used the largest die, all I'm going to do is use my scissors We'll just trim this down and then I'll curve those corners. Basically we're just creating a matted background. Like so. And then I can go ahead and add my acorn right over the top. Now, for my fall cards, I always like to add a little bit of texture. So I'm bringing in some of my white hemp cord from Spellbinders. And it's, it's Spellbinders white hemp cord is not really white. I would say it's more of an off-white color. So I think it's going to go really good with this. I'm going to thread it through here. Tie a knot, but I'm not going to tie a bow with it just yet. Let's trim this. I am going to tie another bow to put behind and then I'll take this bow that we created and put it behind here. Okay. 
and then basically I want to double up on my bow and then I'll take a glue dot and put it behind my button and we will just tack this down in that corner and then I'll tie a bow with this so basically our, our bow is doubled up but one of those is actually going through the button of course if you just wanted to go through the button you could but I like lots of layers when it comes to fold. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to put foam tape behind here. And this is going to go in the middle of my card base. For finishing touches, I'm going to bring in my Gold Mix Color Essential Gems. And I'm actually going to use the gold ones here. And, you know, I'm also going to bring in some of my glazing glue and go over those acorns. Just to give those a little bit of dimension on our stamped image. And that finishes my card project for today. Using the clear stamp and die of the month club kit and also the stencil of the month club kit from Spellbinders. And links are down below if you want to check it out. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.